the, the interesting things about the writing literature and publishing department is it's unlike a traditional English program, English major or a traditional creative writing major. It combines all three in one. So there's creative writing and there's literature and there's publishing. So we do have students who are able to take publishing courses where they're able to learn a lot about the industry. Um, and also in some of the courses that they're taking, they're learning how to pitch pieces and they're often placing pieces that they, they write and they get paid for by the time they finish. So it does teach them both about the industry and how to make a career as a freelance writer. Um, I think what's good about Emerson is that in spite of the fact that the class size is big, at, at any one time there's, I don't know, 150 MFAs and 110 MAs in publishing, we limit our class size to 12, which is a very nice size. I mean, it's just it's just a perfect size in terms of people able, being able to have a voice, being able to, to be able to critique one another's work, really get to know one another's work. I dealt with a lot of young writers when I was um, an editor of a magazine, and I use the similar skills when I'm dealing with um, young writers now, whether they're undergrads or grads. And, and yeah, I, I think the years I was, I have many more years as an editor than I do as a, as a teacher. So I try to bring those skills into the classroom. I think one of the things that's unique about our department is that we have um, people who are still doing what they do professionally or what they did professionally, still doing that in the field. And I think um, it, it, it doesn't just um, help by students think we actually know what we're doing. It, it keeps us fresh. I mean, we, we, we're doing things that are new. We, we learn. We're not behind on technology. We, we, have to, we have to work with editors the same as everybody else, so it, and it keeps our context up. So the networking we're able to do with students is very helpful. Many students stay in touch with their professors um, when, um, when they leave, whether they're undergrads or, or grads. Um, they, they really stay in touch with their professors because we have a network of people. We put them in touch with and we're often getting questions, whether it's do you know of any jobs or do you know of any people who are writing and out there doing this. Um, so it does, it does create a community and, and it takes away that isolation of being, you know, being a writer.